And generally, they go to these places because they find local women, Western women, North American women, um, to be too much, too much of what you have, likely too well-educated. You don't need that. We don't want to be your mothers. Ladies, am I the only one who's noticed a commonality about the passport bro's appearance? They all seem to be on the verge of expiring. Welcome back to More to Life. Before I get into this, guys, I ask that you please like, comment, and subscribe. Also, be sure to click the notification bell to ensure that you go to my videos as soon as I release them. I'm not going to hold you. Let's get right into it. Um, so I'm no expert in this. So if anyone knows more, correct me if I'm wrong, but a passport bro is, from my understanding, a man who expressly goes to foreign countries to find women and or be their life partner. And generally, they go to these places because they find local women, Western women, North American women, um, to be too much, too much of what you ask. Um, see, now, she broke it down. That was fine. But you see how she's going in deeper? And you already know what's coming, right? Yeah, it's my first time watching this video. I just downloaded it. But you already know what's coming after that. Let's see what's coming. Likely too well-educated, too smart, too self-empowered, sure. to, you know, take their... You know, you know, this is the thing, right? I'm talking about too well-educated. Women where I'm from are educated. Women where I'm at now are educated, right? Well, they stand up for themselves. They do that and... You, you notice that's the end? And take care of the man. All you do is everything you say. Not to say that women around the world aren't all of these things, but it really is under this guise of the idea of like women are more passive or more traditional in other parts of the world, as opposed to North American women who do not live to be their servants. What do you mean? So me doing my partner's laundry is a maid, not a wife? which is a whole other conversation to have. But for men who are looking for doting wives, um, maybe just work more on yourself. And women like you is the reason why they're getting it. Because y'all do sound language. Shaming, insulting, guilt, and need to be right. You don't need that. We don't want to be your mothers. No, it's, it's not that. She, she, these, a lot of these women, they don't want to change. That's what it is. They don't want to change. Take me for who I am, right? They were told for years, Go get your degree, baby. Get your degree. Worry about yourself first. You know, so you don't need a man. They were told to do all of this so they don't need a man. Now men are saying, we don't need you. And men are finding better situations. I mean, what's wrong with that? Why do you have to get on here and bash guys for that? But anyway, guys, this is more of the same. Let me go on to the next video. All right, all right. This is for the passport bros. If you're not a passport bro, my darling, skip on. Okay, passport bro, please, 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 please. Come to the front. If you're going to Africa to find your wife, a submissive wife, <laughs> do your research, baby. Another one of these African women. I don't know if she's going to talk about She's probably going to say something about a dowry, right? Do your research. Guys kind of already figured that, right? So, what's the whole point of this? I'm just waiting for the bashing that's going to come behind it. Let's see. Do your research. You're popping up to a country where you don't know their culture. You don't know a way of life. You don't know anybody. Well, we did some research. And you think you waving your American passport. I'm all the way up. Nothing can stop. It's going to cut your woman. You know what? A lot of times it will. I'm not telling guys to go around doing that. But a lot of times, going to these countries... You see, even now, right, before guys even get there, African women are going online saying, passport bros, come here. Hey, let me tell you something. If you're going to properly do this, if you're going to properly go into a family and ask for uh, a hand in marriage, there's something we call dowry. Now, the family of the wife can say they want 5000 or 20000 or thirty, depending on how wealthy they are and how much they want to demand from you. So if you're going to take your bed and think that you're going to score something, yeah. 
think again. And also, have you met the locals in some African country? Have you met the locals? Keep going. You know, it's funny. The locals are probably fine. They'll be happy to see someone coming from somewhere else. I know some, you know, there are some sticky situations in some parts of Africa, but for the most part of what I'm seeing, it's no issues. But guys, that's the thing, right? You have these women, and I noticed a lot of times it's happening in African countries. It's kind of like they're trying to bash guys from going there. I don't know what the problem is. Like, why are you trying to stop guys? You say, oh, you need a diary, so you don't want, you're pretty much saying you need a diary, so you don't want to go there because you can't afford it. I mean, what are you trying to say about guys? Are you trying to say guys that are coming can't afford a dowry? So everybody going to Africa is broke. But these guys are saving up their money and making these trips. But women are coming at guys like, like traveling to these different places like they're broke. I mean, come on now. These are guys that are upwardly mobile, that are moving from country to country. Guys with passport stamps up the wazoo, right? So I don't get where she's coming from. But guys, that, that's happening a lot, right? You have these women in these other countries that are trying to pick guys down. And I say it like this. She doesn't stop anyone, right? So, and the reason why I make these videos so guys don't see videos like this and get discouraged also so guys can feel encouraged, right? I've been doing it for years. Like if, if I was single, I would go on to Africa. And if that came up, if that came about, I would handle it accordingly. If it's something I don't want to do, I'm out. If it's something I don't mind doing, I'm going to work that out. Just like any one of you guys probably would. But let's move on. What I don't get about passport bros. For a group of women you claim to dislike so much, we seem to live in your minds rent-free. You love foreign women so much, and yet you spend all this time speaking about black women and going back and forth with us. Sure. No, it's not that we spend the time speaking about you, right? It's that we're telling guys, look, man. What used to happen here doesn't happen the same way. Situations like that can happen, but doesn't happen the same? No. And it's not only about black women, right? That's what you want to believe. You want to feel that way. Is it mostly? Yes. Because the guys that are leaving, when Passport Bro started, was brothers. And a lot of times they're dealing with black women. And yes, there's headaches. So we have to announce, hey, look, it's greener over here. You know how they say the grass is not greener on the other side? Oh, the grass is greener. And that's why guys are talking about it. So if you happen to be brought up, I mean, if something's wrong, you need to fix it. That's what's happening. It's time for women to start working on themselves. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Go ahead and find yourself. If you don't want me, then don't talk to me. Why do you love that word so much? Me. Go ahead. I mean, you have your passport, right? Right? Where are the stamps? Have you left the United States yet? Why are you still here? And if you have left, why are you out there enjoying your life with these amazing foreign women? I mean, you guys claim that they're checking for you. Are they, are they really, though? Of course. Babes, I took a gander at your page, right? And first of all, for you to have this attitude, I would at least expect you. So it comes across like she's talking about a passport bro in general, right? It seems like she got in beef with somebody on TikTok. It happens. Of course, this is not catered towards the, all of the passport bros. But we have to play this because I want you guys to clearly see. This is what the issue is. Just let it go. Let it go. Can't hold you back anymore. Let it go. If we're leaving and someone else wants you, deal with them. You seem like you're, you're cute. You seem like you're okay. Deal with the guys that want you, or is that is that a problem? To have a full head of hair, you're bold. That salt and pepper goatee on your face is not doing it for me, babes. Your head is shaped like a proud family peanut. Quick question. She's getting at the, uh, she's getting at the, <laughs> the main dude from all the way up. All right, the Do you own Chopstick? What are you talking about? Do you own Chopstick? What are you talking about? Ladies, am I the only one who's noticed a commonality? about the passport bro's appearance they all seem to be on the verge of expiring okay. they all look a little dusty we need your help it's funny isn't it go on be happy leave leave don't follow no that's not true at all right that's why it's good that you see brothers like austin holloman you see brothers like me i don't look like um 
you know, hitting the wall for a man. And of course, men don't hit the wall, right? Men get older and all we get better. We get better. And this is the thing, right? I think oh, for you guys that are leaving, of course, you still have to work on yourself, right? And that's what I do continuously. I stay in the gym. I'm in another country, but I'm in the gym on a regular basis. I have to make sure my body's right. My mind is right because it's all connected, right? Woman like her is just pointing fingers, right? She's making, trying to make the guys feel like they're not worth it. She's trying to make guys feel like, oh, you're washed. That's why you're leaving. And it's far from the truth. Because a lot of times, guys can get women there. They just don't want to deal with the headaches anymore. Thanks. As you see here, more women insulting. I don't know what women are thinking. I don't know what women are thinking. They're going to make guys feel down by continuously bashing us. One thing I do know, there's definitely more to life in dealing with that.